It's a surprise, to say the least. He's made headlines for spending tax dollars to visit a mistress, for alleged trespassing, and now Mark Sanford has won South Carolina's congressional special election, and by a comfortable margin. But I had deficiencies that are well chronicled as a candidate, and at the end of the day, I was carried across the threshold, if you will, by an incredible team of volunteers that are represented in this room and well beyond this room. Sanford beat Elizabeth Colbert Bush, the sister of Stephen Colbert, 54 to 45 percent. And he did it with significantly less financial backing, especially after the National Republican Congressional Committee pulled its support. Colbert had the advantage of outside spending by 5 to 1 compared to Sanford. But in the end, money was little help to her. Wow, we gave it a heck of a fight, didn't we? Yeah. Getting to this point was not an easy feat for the former South Carolina governor whose career was considered dead by many Republicans and Democrats alike. It's the same Mark Sanford who used tax dollars to visit his mistress in Argentina. Disappeared for a week, leaving no one in charge. Betrayed all who trusted him. Then lied to cover it up. Not to mention the trespassing allegations from his ex-wife, a violation of their divorce settlement. Jenny Sanford now says she found her ex-husband leaving through her back door, using his cell phone as a flashlight in February. In a statement, Sanford says he was only there watching the Super Bowl with his son. But despite the spotlight on Sanford's personal life, Politico notes his political experience and ability to woo audiences is what really won it for him, claiming there was a turning point in the race for Sanford's favor. It came two weeks ago when Sanford held a mock debate with a cardboard cutout of House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, implying that the California Democrat was a stand-in for his Democratic opponent. The former governor endured days of derision from the press for the move, but behind the scenes, Sanford's aides grinned. Every time a reporter put Pelosi and Colbert Bush in the same sentence, the Republican was winning. He effectively moved past his own past, and the voters did that with him. He reminded people in that district why they elected him in 1994 in the first place, and because of cutting down on government spending. I think that this is certainly a degree of political redemption, and we'll, we'll see uh, where things go from here. It's less about that, though, than it is about this second chance to make an impact in Washington, D.C., where I think impact is desperately needed. Sanford replaces former Representative Tim Scott. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.